How to test humidity using a calcium chloride test kit. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to actually set up a calcium chloride test kit. As you can see here, with a chalk, we mark uh, around the edge of the plastic tent. You'll receive a plastic tent like this, and as well a capsule on an envelope sealed. That is your kit to do the testing. So once you mark the area, it's important that when you place a test, it's actually every 250 square feet it needs to be away from foundation underground three or four feet and anything that might make the concrete thicker that are not allowed to do a correct test first thing to do is you need to clean the surface of the concrete real well uh, we re recommend to use a concrete grinding wheel uh, typically available at home depot this will remove any coating or any dirt that might be on top of the floor preventing the humidity to transfer through and get a good valid test as you can see, we just worked at it. We tried not to use water. If you have a vacuum shop, that will collect the dust. If you have one of those tools to do that, if not, you can use water, but you will have to wait three or four days before you can actually place a test if you use water to grind with no dust. Once the surface is done, we test with a little water to see if it gets dark immediately. If it does, that's good enough surface. We dust it off and we get ready to do the test. As you can see here, he is actually taking the capsule that comes in close in a sealed envelope. We have pre-weight this capsule. So the capsule, when you take it out, already has a number under the weight. It might be a 30. Typically, it's a 30 or something around that number in that area. Then the next thing we do is we enter the date and then the time and then the location where this is. This happens to be location 7 of the testing that we were doing that day. So that would be location seven in that basement. Uh, that tells us the area, what's happening in that area. And we can go look back at it once we get the reports on this. So that's important. It is also important to record the time when you actually placed it because it's going to have to remain 72, 72 hours in location before you can collect the test uh, and have a valid test. Once you collect all that information, uh, you go ahead and then uh, mark uh, whatever all the details have been. Sometimes it asks for temperature. If you have the temperature of the basement, that would be good to include. If you did a pH test, there's an area where you can put the result of the pH test. In the last video, our test was 11, so we'll record that too as well. Okay, it is very important that when you open this capsule, be very careful not to spill it. That can ruin your whole test because every one of those granules is tested as well as the black tape is part of the test of the capsule uh, as when we tested, we, we measured it or weighed it before we sent it to you. So we always place the tape on the dome that relates to that test. We also hold the capsule a certain way. We hold it with two fingers front and back to make sure that they, it doesn't open casually and spill the chlorines. We center the capsule and the and the cover in that test area and we lay it in the center of the area that we prepare. We then take the piece of paper that actually prevents, uh, that allows you to glue this thing to the floor. It already has the glue on it or the mastique uh, to glue to the floor. And it's very important that you center it and that the thing is well tightly sealed to the floor. So that way, all the humidity that that capsule is capturing and absorbing is only what's inside the dome and not being leaked from the side. So it's important that that is tightly pressed and sticks. Once it's stuck to the floor, it sticks very tightly. Uh, you cannot just pull it off in that area. And then it will remain undisturbed in that location for 72 hours. That is very, very important. You also notice I put a number seven. That's the location of that test. So we can relate it back to the report in that area. Remember, 72 hours undisturbed before we remove the test. After 72 hours, which is approximately about three days and something, uh, we will then come back. And the first thing you want to do to be very careful is to cut the top of the dome off. Do not try to peel it off because it's stuck very tightly and you might spill the capsule. I give you that information based upon experience because I have ruined the test after 72 hours of waiting desperately for the results and then spill it. That means that you have to retest again. So as you can see, he carefully cuts the top of the plastic uh, dome and removes it entirely so he can have full access to the capsules without having the dangerous spilling it. It is very critical that we maintain the weight and the capsule 
correctly, otherwise your results may be quite off and show that it has a lot of humidity on, on all the wrong results. Once we take that off, we enclose the capsule. We take it out, hold it with our fingers, top and bottom, remove the tape of the dome that we had before, and we tape it on the side of it and seal it very tightly so that way there is no more humidity entering the capsule and your test will still be valid with only the results of your basement. And that's important. So be careful when you put the tape, hold it carefully, and then just tape it around to make sure it's nice and sealed and tightly all around it. After that, you will be taking that capsule and complete the information on the left side. Typically, there's information on the right side when you install it, and then there will be information on the left side when you actually picked up the test like we're doing right now in the video. So you'll see the next step is basically write all the information now that we have secured the capsule and try to prevent any type of spill uh, in that area. It was, you're going to have to enter the date in which you pick up the, the capsule. That time is very critical as well as any other information you may have. I think sometimes the capsule will ask you for the temperature of the day you picked it up, uh, fill that information too as well, and that location. But time and date is very, very important. Once you do that, mail it back to us to Seal Green Humidity Test at 16072 Foster Street, Overland Park, Kansas 66085. Enter your name and phone number and your email address so we can mail you back the test. The next process is to remove the dome. As you can see, it's very tightly. We use a sharp uh, a spatula with a sharp edge to remove it. You need to put some pressure. When you buy, if you have to buy just a minimum of one test report, you will have to buy two. One is the calcium chloride test with a report. The other one is the calcium chloride test by itself. It's good to have two calcium chloride tests even though you only need one for 250 square feet because that gives you a comparison and a benchmark uh, on an average to make sure that your readings are correct. Um, we will then, once we receive it, provide you back a result. For every six tests that you have to put on the floor, you will need to buy uh, one calcium test with a test report. You notice that once you remove that, he marks an area number seven on the floor, so we will know what it is. For more information on humidity test kits, visit www.sealgreen.com 800-997-3873.